have in my hands the amazing 2021 Mega Bass Lucky Bag. All the way from Japan. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. This is dropping right now. And this is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Kind of a strange special edition. Let's go. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. What's up my friends? I am Ben Kohler with the Hookup Tackle, aka the Tackle Otaku, being filmed by my buddy Jeffrey the King. We are the Hookup Tackle USA. Today we are also being uh, joined. Let me try that again, Jeff. Mm -hmm. I'm only two lines in, I'm already <clears throat> shit up. Today we are also being joined by our buddy at Julius Maisie and our big talker, paid actor, buddy Griff, wherever Griff is. So, this is what's new this week at the Hookup Talk, where we highlight new items that have arrived as well as important restocks. This week is going to be a very chill episode. The last couple of weeks were like brain exploding, new stuff coming in. This week, we really pulled the reins back because we've been promising you guys a new website. We're finishing it up this weekend so we can roll it out next week. So, we're trying to take it easy on ourselves, but of course, we wanted to bring you something very special. So. We've been saving this guy. This is the limited edition Mega Bass Lucky Bag from Japan. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Lucky Bag, the Lucky Bag is uh, something that Mega Bass does at the end of each year for kind of a celebration of the new year. So this is the 2021 version. There's no telling exactly what is in each bag. So each bag will come with the same bait styles but each one is gonna have maybe slightly different colors of each bait style, okay? So these are 150 bucks. They have a little over, basically $150 worth of stuff in them, but it's really, really dope stuff. Now, most shops in Japan get like two to five bags to put in their store. We squeezed as many out as we could and we were able to get 100 bags. So this is limited to only 100 pieces here in the entire country, okay? So if this is something that you want, Make sure you grab this quick because they are going to fly out of here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open this bag. We're going to show you everything inside. You guys can get stoked, hopefully pick one up. And then afterwards, we are going to basically just have a little bit of a round table. And we're going to shoot the shit with Hippie and with Jeff and with Griff if he wants to say anything. We're just going to do it a little podcast style because we wanted to hang out with you guys on a Sunday. We, we know there's not a ton of new stuff, but we still wanted to come hang and drink a beer and say cheers. So here we go. You ready? You want to see what's inside? Do you want me to go slow again, Jeff? Um. Are you aim? Where are you aiming at? Yep. You okay. already know where I'm aiming okay. at. Okay, weirdo. This is getting strange quickly. Yes. Take it out. Slowly. Slowly. That's what she said. Are we good? Oh yeah. So first, you'll notice that you get this beautiful Mega Bass bag. I mean, that's probably worth 150 bucks on eBay already. Yeah, First dude. thing in. Let's see what's in here. Wait oh. a minute. What is this delicious, beautiful Orion premium draft beer doing inside this Mega Bass Lucky Bag? That's a silly thing. That'll be for later. That actually doesn't come with your bag. But what does? First thing. A brand new Mega Bass Lunchbox Deep Edition. So this is going to be their brand new, if you guys are familiar with the lunch boxes. I'm like a two year old at Christmas trying to open these things. Tape, who knew? 
This is going to be a deeper version. I love these lunch boxes. I use them all the time to store all my stuff in. This is the first deep version of this that I have seen. Here's a standard lunch box. You can see that it is a deeper size, which is super dope. So it'll hold a lot more stuff. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay, so item one. All right, now we get this cool kit of stuff. So I'm gonna pull it out slow, Jeff. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So you know that this is the year of the ox. Did you know that? I knew that because of Instagram. First thing up is a limited edition gong. This is Daifuku Rosso, and it's basically an ox. Look at that. That is dope. Do you want me to take it out? Yes. That's what she said. Please. Let's take a look. This thing is so dope. All right. So, you know, we talk about the gongs a lot around here. It's one of our favorite baits. I'll leave it in the packaging there. But there you go. You can see it's got the cool, like, ox horns on the head. Some cool patterns on the back. It's just a super dope bait. So, special run, limited edition color, gong. There is item number two. Did you throw that hippie? Probably not. Griff would. Where's Griff when we need him? Yes. Would you throw the gong, Griff? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Griff. All right. Item number two. A limited edition Pop X. This is Burning Minotaur. The feather's kind of blocking. Get out of there, feather. No, it's upside down. Okay. Better? Uh, it's okay, here, how about that? There it is. It's a beautiful color. I think they figure it out, dude. Look good? Good enough, yeah. Okay. So, limited edition, item number two. Up next, we have a limited edition griffin so this is the xrx griffin this is in special color ping pong pearl so so like a full pearl bait it's got a little bit of a red it almost looks like a little koi yeah. right so super sick little guy that is ping pong pearl so limited edition item number three well number four i guess with the box all right we also have inside a mega bass dead slow <clears throat> so if you guys aren't familiar with the dead slow, the mag draft and the mag slow are normal carry items. The mag slow looks basically just like this. The dead slow is the slower moving version. So it's going to be weighted differently. So it's not going to basically just sink straight down to the bottom. It's going to have a very slow sink and a very slow retrieve. So you get a little bit of head shake, but you get a lot of that kind of tail kick for really, you know, cold water, Lethargic bass, just times when you need the bait to move really slow. Really slow, I said. So that's, uh, that's dope. So we get one of those guys in there. We also get an Itovision 110 plus one junior. So this uh, particular one is GLXS Spawn Cherry. So that's dope that we get one of those. So that's cool. All right, up next. We see a limited edition Pop Max. This is in Kabuki Kuranai. And I'll probably definitely want to take this out of the package. So this dude has like 3D fire, 3D flames on it. You can see. You want to touch that, Jeff? Feel it. Uh, where is That's it? it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Feel it? Yummy. Oh, yeah. So super sick, super dope. What say you, Griff? Yeah, I know. So, there you go. That one's that one's killer. I love that one. Okay. And then finally, we see one more limited edition item. We see F A Walleye. This is the Ito Vision 110 in a fine art pattern. So the fine art is a new painting scheme that Mega Bass is doing to just create new colors, new patterns, let you guys see that guy up close. So the name of the color is actually F.A. Walleye. It looks like a bluegill to me. F.A. Bluegill. It's a bluegill. 
I think is what it should have been called. F.A. obviously is fine art, but I mean, it's got the bluegill face and the chartreuse tail and the vertical bars. But hey, you know, I don't know. The only thing I know about walleye is eating them. Mm -hmm. You know something about eating walleye, I don't do. You? Like two bites of a 13 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> so when Jeff and I were in Wisconsin, <laughs> uh, we went to this super fancy restaurant that St. Croix took us to, and everybody's ordering steaks and fancy shit, right? And Jeff orders a cup of soup. Clam chowder. It was a giant plate of it. It was still just a cup of soup, dude. It was a plate. I was so embarrassed. So I made them bring him walleye, and they literally <laughs> served him like a 15-pound walleye. walleye. It was a giant plate like this, and there was walleye coming off like every direction of this thing. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and if you don't know Jeff, Jeff literally eats like three bites of food a day. Yeah. Yeah, he's like a little bird. Conservative. So there you go. Bitchin' pattern uh, in the fine art color. So there you go. That is the lucky bag. So essentially the entire thing is limited edition runs. So super dope. So again, there's only 100 pieces. So if you guys want one, scoop them up. Uh, I expect them to fly out of here. So those are available right now. We literally just put them up on the site. So scoop one up, happy shopping, enjoy the stuff, use it. I wanna see fish catches on it. So yeah, enjoy. Welcome to the front What's side up? of the camera, wow. Jeff. This is a weird area. Cheers. Oh, you can't cheers. Cheers, hippie. Cheers. Griff, cheers. everyone at home, cheers. Happy Sunday, everyone. Um, as you can tell, one of us is different than the other. What's up with that camo uh, jacket you got there? I just wanted you to didn't stand get the out. Memo? I didn't. I just wanted to stand out. You know. It's Friday, bro. You know, go chase your dreams. Don't be like everybody else. You know, stand out in the crowd, hmm. and you'll go further. Does that help you catch video. more fish? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Cheers. Don't you wish you were drinking now, motherfucker? Uh, no. A fresh. <laughs> so. <laughs> what happens when I drink is I lose things. Like what? What have you lost? This sounds good. We're not going to get into this right Why now. Why not? Name you, one you thing you lost. You have one of my things. Oh. Oh, no shit. I Put do. A fucking beer. Yeah. <laughs> beer, please. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have that's of value? I need a new Z2020. I have the Z2020. Yeah, yeah, red, I need a red, 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 red depth sidewinder rod. All right. I let have. me get you a beer. <laughs> hey, get this man a beer. <laughs> I have both on the same Get him two spot. beers, Zibby. Oh, two. <laughs> Oh, we're going to win something from you today, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a man size beer. The hell is that? There you go. It's a Stella it's Artois. Artois. <laughs> Listen, you can just stare at it if you want. So, now that this is completely fucking derailed, derailed. and we don't even done. know what the hell is going yeah. on. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everyone. Um, so, as I mentioned earlier, we are trying to restrain a little bit on some new inbounds so we can get caught up on the new website and uh, bring better experiences to you guys. So thank you for the patience. We decided just to get the crew together today, uh, hang out, and just kind of do a little, uh, I don't know, Sunday hangout yep. and see if this goes anywhere or if this is just a complete train wreck for 20 minutes, <laughs> it's which close it's already. looking like it's going <laughs> that way. So, um, Anyways, just some updates. Updates. Just some updates for you. Uh, it's this Orion. Turn me into an Australian. Uh, just some updates. So new website. We're gonna be dropping it at the end of this week. Hallelujah. Finally. So, dude, thank you guys I for hate the patience. The website. I hate your website. It's awful. Dude. Who are you? Everybody on I, YouTube or something right now? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we get it. We get Jeff. it. Sucks. Sucks. We get it. Okay, we get it, hippie. <laughs> Calm down. So, um, what do you think, Griff? No. That's that, it. That went totally itself. different. <laughs> um, so, that is going to be dropping. Uh, there is something else I was going to mention, too. Oh, yeah, when that drops, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about the subscription program. So, as soon as we get that site launched, so the first week of March, we will uh, do signups for the subscription program. That's going to be super dope. So pay attention to that. I'll start dropping hints this week on Instagram, uh, but we'll give you guys plenty of notice for the uh, monthly bento box. Okay. All right. So what's up? What's up, dude? What's up? What are we going to talk about today? Well, 
So we have some other exciting things happening here at the store too. Um, Hippie quit. Well, that is pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. Thank God, dude. Uh, oh, I hate you. I love you. Um, no. So Hippie decided that he had a dream, right? <laughs> Uh, what a shame. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Overrated. Who has a dream? Uh, yeah. What so, is that dream? What is your dream? Uh, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out <laughs> eight months from now. But uh, are you that guy with the phone? I don't. I don't hear anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's that guy. This guy. So what? What is the dream that you're going out on this year? Yeah. So I'm gonna give the Bassmaster Opens a shot. So I'm fishing the Centrals and the Northerns to basically. Give it a shot to try and qualify for the elites. Boom. Yeah. You think you it's can done. do it? I would hope so, Jeff. That's I mean, I, like I think hear. that's why I yeah. signed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that why? <laughs> yeah. is that why? <laughs> oh, you don't think you're going to lose? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, dude. You're going to kick ass. I hope so. Cheers. Brother. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I know a lot of you have only known us for a, a short period of time here on YouTube. Um, but this crazy haired motherfucker has basically grown up around me since I don't know he was like this tall and he still had the same crazy hair uh, and him and his dad used to come in the shop all the time we had the original shop at yeah. the lake and uh, you know I just always felt a special connection to him just because he's such a great spirit and he's an amazing angler I mean honestly one of the best fishermen that I've ever known and I've known some really good ones and Jeff um, so I, I'm really excited for him. I'm, I'm stoked that he's getting this opportunity to, uh, to do it. So Thank you, brother. Yeah, it's going to be exciting it. for you, man. So what that means for the hookup, right, and what that means for hippies guiding is we are uh, spinning that into a kind of a new offering that we're going to be rolling out here next month as well. And so for those of you who have been lucky enough to share the boat with Hippie, he's, he's a, one of our full-time guides here at the shop, uh, an amazing guide. He really loves instructional trips and teaching how to use different things. So we are going to be launching a JDM experience uh, on the water with you. Yeah. Uh, we're basically, we're taking all the dope shit that's in the store and it's basically going to be floating on your boat. That's so, it. People can come out and use it. Yeah, they can touch it, right? They can feel it. Um, but then you're gonna teach them how to use all that stuff and Absolutely. teach them how to apply it. Yeah, floating hookup tackle. Yeah, but then an instructor. Right, <laughs> it's gonna be dope. Yeah. So we're gonna obviously do that here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. But while you're on the road, yeah, we're gonna offer limited dates at each location that you're going mm -hmm. uh, for people to sign up and experience it throughout the country. Absolutely, it's gonna be sick. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, that, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be dope. Yeah. yeah. So Jeff and I are also going to travel uh, with him to some of the events. If COVID stops being a thing, we're going to do some meetups because uh, we'd love to meet a bunch of you if we can in person uh, and, and hang. But we'll, you know, do some videos on the water sure. uh, and try to bring you guys a lot of instructional stuff. So, yeah. yeah. It's going to be it such be dope. a dope journey, man. It should be dope. Yeah. yeah. So excited for that. I learned so much from this guy with the BFS that maybe I can catch more than one fish a month soon, you know. Oh, yeah. If you apply anything you learn from me, it's going to be very mind blowing for you, Jeff. Uh, yeah, like JD and that? women. Well, yeah, JD and women is a thing. <laughs> you just know all about it. JD and well, women? Yeah, JD and women. Oh, I'm intrigued. Oh, you yeah. Should that be here? part of the JDM experience? Bring a, yes. <laughs> like a sushi girl a on the boat. A sushi girl on the boat. Yeah, boat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bring you an Orion when you're thirsty. I like this idea. <laughs> this is good. She's going to work something good. Yeah. Keep well, going. Oh, where is this going? <laughs> <laughs> like a Pokemon costume? Perfect. Yeah. With a tail. <laughs> now, what you were thinking, Jeff? Uh, That's exactly what yeah, I Yeah, I was going to have her look like Mila Jovovich, but Jeff's no. like, no, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. 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 Oh, yeah, it's better. A Pikachu, you know? You feel me? On no, the boat? We don't. Ears. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, no back way. on track. I really don't. <laughs> That's like that multi-pack thing. Okay. I, got, I got destroyed in the comments, bro. Well, it's basically any guy <laughs> who appreciates hot <laughs> chicks and good movies. We thought that was you. That's how you got the job. 
<laughs> yeah, job. no, I I don't know that. What's the name of that stupid movie? Fifth Multiple Element. Facts. Oh, Fifth Element. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know what that is. Never will probably watch it. I don't know who Mia Khalifa is. Yeah. Well, it's Wiz Khalifa's daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I don't <laughs> care. Holy. Okay. Oh, I, I just can't look at my... Off, I huh? see my twin over here and my twin <laughs> over here. Yeah, do you... Slowly, I see you looking. Mm-hmm. You've okay. been working out. Yeah, I weight. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's... Ooh. Oreo. <laughs> 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 the health food of champions. <laughs> yes. And now, there's probably a, a lot of people that don't know who this guy is. He's kind of new on the scene. I think everybody knows the paid actor now. The paid actor. The paid actor. Do you get paid enough? Yes. <laughs> well, where's my trailer? <laughs> I was promised the a trailer. <laughs> yeah, well, your fluffer is sitting next to me, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'll have to wait whenever, on that, sir. Whenever you need a hot towel, just let me know. <laughs> Hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. All so, Griff, Griff fishes a lot. Like, Griff probably fishes more than anybody I know. Yeah, really. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so and what I love about Gr- oh, I love, I love a lot of things about you, dude. But I love that <laughs> you are willing to try the most ridiculous, stupid shit That's that it. anybody has ever heard of. Hundred percent. Yeah. And prove to yourself that it either actually works or that it actually is stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. So why, why that mindset? And what I mean by that is. <laughs> when we get a technique that comes out, like, okay, when the Balm came out, right? So the Balm 300, if you guys don't know what that is, Google it. They, in Japan, they catch them figure eight in that thing. So it's this giant swim bait, and they figure eight it, right? And they, the fish crush it. Oh. Well, Griff took it upon himself to figure eight everything. Like, literally everything <laughs> in the fucking store. Like, we were fishing the other day, and we hear this, like, sp- splash in a bush, and it's literally Griff standing <laughs> on the shore next to a bush, figure eighting. What were you even ORC, using? Yeah, right? ORC. Yeah. An ORC. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing, dude? He's like, yeah. I'm figure eighting. <laughs> but like, you even normal. figure eighted, like, a mylar minnow and stupid shit. Yeah. Like, mylar, finesse yeah. plastics. And ketchup. Yeah. It's the same concept. It's the same thing. It's just I think a different Griff- bait. You move it fast, the fish get fired up, and they they bite it. They eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's I think Griff and I think float and fly. Like it's like he's ever since the beginning with. Well, them. because he loves he loves the he loves hover shot. Yeah, yeah hover shot. And, and a mile arm in him. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, so if you're fishing and you're not doing a tournament, you just want to have fun. Right. So it, it's not it's not that serious. So you go out there, you find stuff that you think is going to catch you fish. So I found the hover shot, but I wanted to be able to cast it. And the thing that came to my head was I'll just put it on a float and fly, cast it and let it float down the river, and I still have a vertical technique, and I caught a shit ton of fish. Did yeah. you free rig a wake bait as well? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I caught Let's a talk ton about of that. fish. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I really it. need to get something out there, what do you do? You're still that guy. There's a silence mode on the phone. Not on alarms. Oh my god. Oh god. Cut. Just cut. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Who invited this guy? <laughs> I thought he quit. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he's still. He's, he's still hanging around. Quit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels like it. <laughs> Taking it personal. Then, what's your favorite bait that you've ever caught fish on? Then. My, the funnest bait I've ever caught fish on is the gong. I love throwing the gong. And I think I think the biggest challenge with the gong was when people were saying how stupid it was. So I bought one and as soon as I threw it I was like, This is gonna catch a ton of fish. It's such a sick bait. But it just looks like a gorilla and it's fun. Like hundred <laughs> percent. Who doesn't want to catch a bass on a gorilla? Right. Right? That's yeah. It. I think everybody knows what a gong is, but just in case. We would hope our audience knows right. what a gong is. He just is. showed one about twenty minutes <laughs> right. ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm sure that people skipped past that just to get just to, to get this good section, <laughs> right? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's a gong. Z monkey, monkey shaped yeah. wake bait. Monkey shaped wake bait. Yeah. I remember yeah. when you first got that in, it came in like, "Ben, what did you get?" Like, "Oh, dude, trust me, 
It swims great. I'm like, could you imagine? There's like, no way. First day of the derby, you got like four gongs tied on in different colors <laughs> and juniors and shit. Like, totally throw somebody off. The thing is, is yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. We could imagine it. I bet, do you throw a gong every time you go fishing? Almost every time. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Would you free rig one? Do you? Uh, if I needed it, I don't think that would it would be great <laughs> under the water. <laughs> Because if you reel it in fast, it's gonna die. It's like a crankbait. Gotcha. Right. And it'll die like six feet. Right. That's the football player gone. This is the football player. Yeah. They call it invisible. But it's number one ten, you get it? Yeah. So that's what the fish are seeing. So it, they don't know it's a fucking monkey. You know what I mean? <laughs> they just they just think it's something cool swimming away. Only yeah. we know it's a monkey. Right. Or the birds, I guess, that are looking down on it. <laughs> right? It's it's what do you think a heron thinks when yeah. it's looking down? Oh, what the ape doing what coming across the river? <laughs> swimming monkey in my river? It's probably the most effective way <laughs> to going to hell. <laughs> yeah, even yeah. more than the ORC. Yeah. 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 Wow. I think so. Insane. The ORC casts way better. Mm. Yeah. With that LBO. Yeah. But this one has such a special... Clack. It's loud, yeah. And squeak. You know yeah, what I mean? It's a clean swing. It sounds so good. It sounds yeah. better than any other wake bait that doesn't look like a monkey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deep, deep thoughts deep by him. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the other ones that are similar to it, like the MT wake. It has that Your blade. Your favorite? On, no. It has that blade on the back Wrong. and it makes a similar yeah. sound. Right. Because it has that blade in the black clacking. Yeah, but it just, it, it's not a gong. It no. doesn't have the squeak. Mm. It doesn't. I don't know. I think I think if you throw squeaky baits like a like a buzz bait that squeaks more than plops, right? You're gonna catch more fish. Yeah, they yeah. like a squeak. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know why is that. Why do they like? I a squeak? never figured that out. But how many times have you made your buzz bait noisier? Like right. You know, like, 100%. Yeah. Like we don't know why we're doing it. There was innovation. <laughs> yeah. And brands figured out how to make like a rivet that squeaked. Yeah. We used to, I used to literally hold them out of a, a window yeah. driving to the lake so the thing would spin, yeah. right? So literally, my sequoia out there yeah. doesn't have, what are those stupid things that pick up radio? An antenna. An antenna. <laughs> the antenna is gone because of a buzz bait that was attached to that antenna driving down the road to get it to be squeaky and then the whole fucking thing ripped off. <laughs> So that's why I don't have radio in my car. Did did insurance help you out there? No, that's dummy. That's dummy Uh, things. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they sell antennas. Yeah. But you just see Ben like pulled over, like fuck, I only had two of those buzz baits. Like, damn it. Not my. I didn't care about the antenna. Not my sweet water. (laughs) But yes, the squeak makes a huge difference. For sure. Have you ever noticed like your older buzz baits get bit better? So. How could we apply that to things under the water? Because we don't think we only think squeak on the surface. Mm. Right, yeah. Right? But don't you think if it was subsurface, the same sound would mean something? Yeah, I mean, what do you mean like a dog's like squeaky toy? Almost like put like the squeaky thing inside. I don't know how to do it, but (laughs) like maybe there's something that we haven't thought of. Yeah. You know, because all we have is like rattles or no yeah. rattles. Right, yeah. yeah. You know what Silent I mean? Or... But there's nothing really squeaky. No. I mean, I yeah. guess maybe the hooks rubbing maybe would create some kind but of squeak. It wouldn't be consistent. But it know? wouldn't be consistent. No. Yeah. We should figure out how to make squeaky shit. Yeah, my mind's already. You okay. could just put your buzz baits on a free rig weight. <laughs> <laughs> the free rig buzz bait. Holy shit. shit. This is true. Well. <laughs> I mean, thinking of ridiculous shit, right. I think I told you one time. Yeah. So, buzzbait's like my favorite fucking thing. I know this. We know this, right? Yep. So, I lost a tournament at Apache one year. Oh. In the fall. Yeah. Right? And, you know, sometimes you look at a, a lake and you're like, okay, I'm going to win that one on a buzzbait. Yeah. I'm going to win that one on a buzzbait, right? Yeah. yeah. And then in prefish, dude, I threw a buzzbait for like three weeks. They're, they weren't eating a buzzbait. Yeah. There was no buzzbait. Right. Right? And I lost to these dudes, and they had like 24 pounds, like they sacked them. Yeah. Like, yeah, we caught them all on a buzz bait. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I had never been so crushed ever <laughs> right. in my life. Like, yeah. how did I miss hate this? Right? Yeah. And so I, I had to talk to them. Like, right. usually it's like, ah, oh, that motherfucker beat me. Right. But I was so like, dude, I was mind fucked. Yeah. Right? So I was like, dude, you, I threw a buzz bait. I, 
how did you catch fish on a buzzbait? Like, I don't, we just threw it out there and let it sink to the bottom and <laughs> just started winding it really slow and they, they ate it. Right. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Underwater squeak. But that's it, dude. But like, now that I'm speaking out loud about it, like yeah. these like nightmares in my past are coming back to like, wait a minute. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was it. an underwater squeak. Well, you think, like, mm. would they have ate a spinnerbait? Or did they only eat that fucking thing because it was making that noise? Right. Yeah. You know? Something totally different. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fuckers. Mm. I still hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that's ever been us, we just... Now we're all going to yeah. take buzz baits and throw them out and fish them like a jig. <laughs> yeah. Just to see if we could get a just squeak. Them. Great info. But I wonder if you could make, like, a, a jackhammer or... Something like that. Have some we should talk squeak. about this off camera before we just give it all away. All right, we'll figure it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> like, come on. We'll dude. give you a season with it, and then we'll uh, we'll revisit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, appreciate that. All right, so, all right, talk to us about talk to us about tournament fishing. Okay. Okay. So, you've got basically like six weeks. Yeah. Before you roll, five weeks. Yeah, maybe four like, weeks. Maybe feels like a month. Dude. Okay. Yeah. So you had a month before you go. So, and you're basically going to be gone for like six months. Yeah. Right. What is, what is going through your mind? Um, what's, what's going through your mind? Like, what are you feeling? What are you excited for? What are you nervous about? What are you like? Yeah, man. What's, what's happening up there? Like I've been to a few of these places. Like I, I spent a lot of time on the Tennessee river as a kid, you know, so the centrals, like I, like Pickwick's on there, you know, so I kind of, my wheels are turning there. But some of these other places, dude, I've never heard of, you know, and I just hope my instinct kinks in, you know, and I just, me being a fishy person, just follow the road and figure it out. You know, fish my strengths everywhere I go and bust my ass, you know, 15, 16 hour days, daylight till dusk and just work hard and figure them out. You know, that's, there's one goal for doing this. It's not because of dream or anything like that. It's qualify make right. the fucking elites yeah so you know whatever it takes we're gonna try to do it you know to just fish my ass off and that's the game go plan. for it so it. there can't be many more different places than like james river yeah like, that one's crazy dude. there's a river <laughs> with grass and lily pads and yeah current like, tidal water we don't have any of that shit here blue crabs floating like, <laughs> like we're launching right? in downtown richmond virginia right what like so when you <laughs> <laughs> griff already knows what to do yeah. <laughs> what are you free rigging rig there um a popper gray honey what's the most ridiculous thing we could free rig uh i don't know crankbait Oh, that would be good. Yeah, like yeah, for sure. You should stock up on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's crazy because when I was growing up, we used to fish in a in like 40, 50 feet with jerk baits, and we'd put them on Carolina rigs to get the jerk baits all the way down, and then we'd just pop them. They do that. Pop the weight on the bottom. Yeah. And we'd catch smallmouth. So what's crazy, dude, is OSP is just developed a weight to do that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be rolling out here any day now for is the their jerk bait weight for yeah. their floating high cut. Yeah. Like wow. shit that we used to all do to get that stuff down there yeah. is now like, oh, you know what? Maybe there's something to that. So now I'm going to build like the perfect weight to do it. So yeah. it doesn't twist and you can jerk and you can do all this weird stuff. We're thinking about like suspended fish, you know, right. Schooling fish that you can't see, but you see on pan optics or side scan or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be insane. So when you're thinking about a water like that, right, or any of, like, the northern lakes that are so different yeah. than, like, what our lakes are here. For sure. Right? Do you, Are you mentally preparing yourself to be a different fisherman when you get there? Or are you going to be hippie in this different land and fish your strengths and, like, how, what's going through your mind that way? So, like, you know, the West Coast has pumped out some great anglers over the last, you know, decades. And I feel like they're successful doing what they're known to do. But then you see some explore new things, you know, and discover that they're good at something that they didn't even know they were good at. So definitely going to keep an open mind. But, you know, places like the St. Lawrence, I'm going to fish my strengths. You know, places like the James River, I'm going to keep an open mind and just go fishing. You know, have options and, and not feel stressed out like I need to do something or, you know, I need to be somewhere. I'm just going to keep an open mind and feel confident, you know, and just go fishing. Yeah. 
you know, I think that's the biggest deal is not get, don't get beat before you even launch your boat first day of practice, mm. you yeah. know, just have an open mind. Yeah. Let's go. So <clears throat> let's talk for a minute about like mental, mental awareness and mental strength. Yeah. Right. Because <clears throat> the other day, the three of us were out oh, God. filming, <laughs> right? So, uh, so a lot of you guys have been asking for BFS videos because we've been throwing it around and we've been all like kind of hyped on it. So this yeah. week we'll be dropping a couple of BFS videos to sh show you guys like exactly what it is that we're doing and just get, share some thoughts with you, right? So we were out fishing, right? Yeah. And we started filming this video, we got to get in this river. The first two hours of the day were <laughs> were probably the worst two hours of fishing I've ever experienced in my life. Right. Like, I, I couldn't do one single fucking thing right. Right. <laughs> I would cast and it would probably backlash. Yeah. And if it didn't backlash, it would be, get hung in a tree <laughs> yeah. or end up over there. Or if it went right, it's like, okay, good, it's in. And then it would snag or the bait would break or like, I hooked Jeff in the head one time. Like it was a, the biggest train wreck I ever seen. Right? right. And it was getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I was like, all right, maybe I'm just going to go home. Yeah. Right. And then Griff comes over and then we're fishing next to each other. And it's literally just a shit show. Yeah, it's like bad. backlash, <clears throat> backlash, backlash. Back, it's like, <laughs> and Jeff's going, what the fuck are you guys <laughs> yeah. doing? I was like, what? <laughs> right. I can't or... film. This. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I don't know what was happening that day. But we were in some kind of fucked up. I'm telling you, like, it was probably the moon phase. Okay. <laughs> yes. Continue. But <laughs> as ridiculous as you are, I think it was it was something. It was something like that. Yeah. It was some kind of like force or like <laughs> we were in some kind of mind space where we just were sucking, and the worse we did the worse we did, like our minds kept going more negative, more negative, and then it just, it derailed, right? Right. And then it took like literally like a, dude, we got to snap out of this shit. Yeah, just like that. And it took like- A top dude, water bite in the middle of the day. Yeah, we had to sit down, <laughs> Yeah. right? We had to breathe. <laughs> we had to just be like, okay, look, I've got, we got to completely <laughs> reset this shit, Yeah. right? And then as soon as like we put our minds back straight, Everything then all of a sudden we, we just started doing anything right again. Yeah. And it's like, what the, like, these are the same things that I've, it's like riding a bike, right? It's yeah. the same motion all the you time. You get your wheels back. But all of a sudden like wrong. your head either goes, once it's in the wrong space, everything yeah. derails. That's it. But once it's in the right space, it's like you can't do anything wrong. Yeah. And I've always been fascinated by that headspace. Yeah. Like, in basketball, like we talk about basketball a yep. lot, right? Especially when I'm gonna whip your ass at his court. Um, I think you were drinking that day too when you <clears> made that bet. Yeah, we probably. Were. But <laughs> you see guys where like, dude, they never they don't miss a shot all game. Yeah. You know, or they score sixty, or like they can't do anything wrong. And then you interview them and they're like, I don't know, I was just in the zone. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But that zone, like that headspace zone, like we gotta try to find that for you for sure like you got to figure out how to harness that mental positivity absolutely right? yeah. so how how do you keep that mind like have you thought this through like how are you going to stay mentally positive in some of these places that are just going to be like a kick in the nuts when yeah, you show up and you're like what the fuck like it's so different and you're not going to catch anything and you're going to be like i don't know what to do yeah like, have you thought that through i think you almost have to think like at the end of the day, no matter the outcome, like during practice, like you're still human. You're still gonna go home. You know, the, your loved ones are still gonna be there. Like not get so wrapped up in it that if you get mind fucked on the water, don't get off the water and stay like that because you're never gonna get, a, get out of that bubble, you know? So just stay positive the entire time and know that at some point the, w the tables are gonna turn. You know, if you stay positive, like how many events have you fished where like one o'clock you don't have a bass and you pull up on one spot and you bust 20 pounds and now you're in the derby. Mm. And you, you were like literally like two casts away from, you know, putting it on the trailer <laughs> and all of a sudden it just happens. Right. Because you had that 
It's going to happen at some point, and you're starting to doubt it. You're starting to doubt it, and right when you're about to just throw in the towel, it happens. That re like you know gives me reassurance that it will happen. You just got to stay focused and right. positive, and basically don't you know don't let the negativity take you over. Well, I think that's I think that's going to be really important for you. And I think that's what a lot of tournament guys maybe struggle with. Yeah, mentally, is that. I think a lot of guys leverage themselves so deep to enter these tournaments, to enter these circuits, right? Yeah. That if they don't make a check, they don't yeah. eat for a week, exactly. right? Or they can't afford gas to the next yeah. event or like yeah. crazy shit, right? right? And we've all seen it. Our friends, our yeah. buddies, Some like, best friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, dude, when I had the old hookup shop at the lake, yeah. I mean, Several people in the elite series in Major League Fishing mm -hmm. were sleeping at my store. <laughs> That's it. Leveraging everything they could to yeah. like just get from this tournament to the next tournament. Right. right? Saturday might let me live another week. A hundred percent. But what goes with that is the inability to be calm. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Right. It and hurts, yeah. so I think in tournament fishing. You know, if you only fish one tournament a year, yeah, then you there's this urgency to be like, oh, dude, I gotta do good, yeah, right. But when you know, like, dude, the outcome is whatever the outcome is. Like, right. all I can control are these variables right here, right. And I have confidence in myself and my abilities that if I do this long enough, yeah, it's gonna happen for me. That's it, right? Hundred percent. So we just gotta keep that focus for sure on the water and. Dude, if it doesn't come together, it doesn't come together. Right. And you learn from it, yeah. right? You look back on it afterwards and, okay, you know, maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have zagged instead of zig. Yeah. You know, but I think that that calmness and that confidence yeah. is hard to get because everybody just puts so much pressure on, like, the result. Right. right? And That's we it. all want that result. We all want to yeah. catch a big one, you know, bigger than six, of yeah, course. Obviously. Puny fish. Um, you know, we all want to win. We want to sure. qualify, right? Yeah. We all want to have that fucking Instagram photo, right? We want to free rig something ridiculous yeah. for the TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for the TikTok guy. Well, over it's here. on TikTok. We'll leave a link down in the description. Oh, you're gonna leave a link? Yeah. Oh, we're huge TikTokers. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Gonna, so go YouTube and... <laughs> might not even exist we're here in another couple these. weeks <laughs> if we keep going the way we're going. <laughs> Griff is our TikTok guy. He really just likes to watch half naked ladies, but he calls it work. Don't we all? Uh, <laughs> he calls it working. Leave me alone. <laughs> I go work in the bathroom. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah, we. This is going to be fun as we go through this process this year. Absolutely. To talk to you after each event or during the event, like because skills learning techniques, you know, how to catch them, like all that shit's cool, Yeah. right? And of course we wanna talk about that, but I think the greatest takeaway is how to mentally apply yourself and your techniques to these waters and not get like super mind fucked. That's mm -hmm. it. Because you could show up to, uh, what's the first lake? Lewis Smith. Yeah, you could show up to Lewis Smith in April and maybe it's one on a chatterbait. Yeah. But then every other April for the rest of time it's gonna be a jig bite or <laughs> yeah. something. Right. Yeah. So like it'll be cool to share some of those techniques, but really it's gonna be uh, exciting to see, you know, the transgression and how the mental piece plays into the success and for you sure. Know. And I, I know you're gonna have some of the uh, you're gonna have a lot of success. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. But you know the mind game is the biggest thing. Like, if you can't beat that right off the gate, you're pretty much fucked. Right. <laughs> like, right. Don't be a little bitch. Man the fuck up and fish. Dude. Right, yeah. You know? But be confident. That's right. it. Like, well, and that's why, like, when we fish local tournaments, that's why we yeah. like to fuck with all our friends so much. I know. Because we can ruin several teams <laughs> of our of our buddies we very watched. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we don't know how to catch a bass. Right. We've ruined them, so they're out. 100%. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the and fun that part. gives you confidence. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I think that's the best part. No, I'm, I'm really excited for the journey, and it's cool to have an amazing group of anglers, you know, that I call friends, and you guys are pretty much family to me, you know, like off the water. So it's going to be cool to, you know, have this as backing, you know, the we're hook tackle on you, you guys. So yeah, we're pick Very fortunate you. to have you guys. Yeah. Well, cheers, dude. Cheers, brother. Yeah. Cheers to you. Cheers. Griff. My beer's empty.
Oh. I'm slow. <laughs> Maybe you guys talk. Then, right? <laughs> Maybe go in depth about the website. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe tell people what to expect. Yeah? I don't know. I feel like people are super excited about the website. Okay. Well, it's going to work. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I wanted to know. Beautiful. They're going to click add to cart and it's actually going to go there. No way. No yeah, more it's... phone orders. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love helping you guys. <laughs> oh, man. How yeah. long have you been working on this website now for it? It seems like a year. So our shitty-ass website that we currently have, yep. we custom-built that. 1745. Yeah, 1745. It's pretty close. Before the uh, yeah, there was no free rig or wake things back then. <laughs> um, it's probably like 15, 16 years old. So back wow. then, there was no, like... There, you couldn't buy like an e-commerce site. You had to create yeah. your own shit, right? Yeah. So, you know, like any broke small family business, we hired the cheapest guy that, you know, liked fishing, right? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, he wrote his own strange code and it's so old and ridiculous yeah. that nobody else wants to touch it <laughs> yeah. because they're like, I don't know what the hell this is, <laughs> right? But he's up in some tree stand somewhere shooting gears. Like you can't get him to fix it. So, uh, you know, it's oh just, it's a mess. It's a mess, right? yeah. So, yeah, this will be, this will be good. And this will continue to be a work in progress, but it will be nice to have a modern platform yeah. that we can, you know, tweak every week and treat like we treat here in the store. We can have new displays and, you know, give good customer experiences. So. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be great once it's all. It's gonna take you know. There's gonna be some quirks and some kinks Absolutely. and stuff, no right? Is. But it'll be nice to it'll be nice to get it done. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be exciting for that. Yeah. And then we can fish more. No way. That's huge. Yeah. That'll be. You might huge. catch two fish in a month. No way. I don't two know. times. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'll lose them. <laughs> two fish, Jeff. Whoa. I like the ring of that. Yeah. But no, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. Cause we're gonna need the time. Yeah. You know, 100%. we gotta go. We gotta go. Pit crew for this guy over hippie here. guy over here. Yeah. You better win every tournament, dude. Right. Yeah. No pressure. Yeah. yeah every single. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you should bring a big bait. They might eat it over there. I'm telling you, bro. I'm pretty sure I'm that's telling enough. you. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the mother chaser. We should. We need to do the two v two. Two v two. Yes. Two v two. Two v two. I don't know who's on who though. Well, first I gotta win my second mother chaser. Okay. I got, we gotta do the drop shot battle. We should do that this week. Okay. Yep. Not a yep. problem. Oh, yep. What do you, you mean? have? Yeah. Tiny baby brush hawks? Oh well, I have to go get some from Walmart. You're or... gonna have to go somewhere else. Yeah. I, I don't, don't care. Yeah, we don't care. I know shit. you don't. Yeah. You, you go get yourself the... some plastic. <laughs> you might have the C4 shrimp. <laughs> mm -mm. Super uber tiny baby don't brush hawks. Don't give him any advantage. <laughs> advantage. Shut the fuck up, baby. <laughs> no, he gets tiny baby brush hawks. So that was the bet. So we have a drop shot bet. Then we have a basketball bet. Right. And then I thought there was one other bet. Mother Chaser bet. Well, there's the original Mother oh, Chaser and bet and that then, you're going to catch a thousand, thousand times more fish than Somebody's me. cooking yeah. dinner for somebody. That's the basketball challenge. Right. Kelly's yeah. going to cook me up a beautiful meal. No, your meal. mom's cooking me dinner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for Kelly. I'm sorry, Kelly, if you're watching. I feel bad be... for... What are you gonna have Sorry, Jeff's mom. Kelly's gonna <laughs> two bites into the toast. And my toes full. like I'm gonna <laughs> go full. Clam <laughs> chowder. Me, so <laughs> Side of wall. Oh, I'll get the wall. wall. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, it's just gonna be cheese curds. He's gonna fuck with me. You know you ordered that and then went out to the backyard pond, drilled a hole in the ice, <laughs> yeah. and fucking hooked that thing for you. It oh was yeah. Fresh, dude. <laughs> yeah. The two bites I had of it oh, was delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Why do they eat so many cheese curds in Wisconsin? We'll have to. What did you say the other day? It's a vitamin. It's a vitamin for them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Literally. Yeah. It's every meal. It's like beer for us. I see. But they're cheese curds. Like right. I mean, it it's okay. <laughs> Just think out of it. Like think of it as the same thing. Like it's fried cheese. This could never taste like fried cheese. This is like refreshing. It it's like life. Like fried cheese. What? I was trying to help them out. could. This? <laughs> they wanted it to. No. <laughs> it's like a reassurance that the day is over. It's not right. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I said, it appears like the reassurance that day is over. Or starting. Or starting. Yeah, That's right, this is baby. Sunday morning. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Sunday That's morning. Right. Sunday. Yeah. We have another beer. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were all secret after what happened the other day. Let me get my G Are we talking about the first two hours of my miserable <laughs> life or the post two hours of I think, the, I think the first two hours. Well, if it was the first two hours of my miserable life, I, I'm never going to use Seaguar again. Am I boring you, Greg? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm do good. Do you need another beer? No, I'm good. I thought you were going to say yes. <laughs> he doesn't say yes anymore. Oh. Yeah. He's a no guy now. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, we've been playing with lines. Like, I love to play with lines. So... You've used Sunline forever. Yeah. I've used Sunline for ever, basically. Yeah. Uh, you? I've been using Sunline for the past, like, three or four years now. I yeah. like it. And you? Uh, probably, like, the last year and a half. Sunline? Sunline. So we're all kind of, like, we. that's, that's where we yeah. live. Yeah. So it's important that I try the other lines to make sure I understand yeah. what they are. And... We do get people that come in like, dude, I don't like sunlight. Or I get a bad sport. Oh, that shit sucks. Yeah. And so I'm constantly thinking like, well, what am I missing? Mm -hmm. Or right. what are they experiencing? Or what, you know, maybe there's something to this other stuff. Yeah. Right? So like you and me have been playing with braids. Yeah. What a fucking eye-opening oh world that is. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of shitty ass braids out there. A I, lot. Dying with Jay Braid's your favorite, right? Well, Samurai is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. But Jay Braid is the best Ooh. for the money. G Soul? I thought that was you. Don't talk. Don't talk <laughs> that language around me. Uh, There's another leader. <laughs> G Soul. G Soul. Isn't that what you snapped off? Oh, in, but that, uh, you that the sinking braid? Oh, yeah. What? Is that the sinking braid? Yeah, that's the YGK. Yeah. So the YGK braid is amazing hmm. if you FG knot it. So if you FG knot the braid to the leader, it's it's amazing, hmm. but if you tie any other knot, that is the worst braid in the world. <laughs> Damn! It is so thin yeah. and so slick, you will cast off your leader like Jesus. fucking crazy. Yeah. It will drive you insane. And I'm all about the FG knot. If I'm sitting at home drinking a fucking beer and I'm gonna sit there and mess with that shit, but when my hands are cold or they're biting, and I want to fucking catch them. Dude, I ain't got time to tie that stupid knot. I don't knot. have enough brain cells to tie that knot, dude. I'm we know. never going to tie that We know. We know. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> my percentage. Alberta. <laughs> Two to my percentage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, the FG knot's the best knot. Right. I, I think. If it's you the strongest knot. Arms. It's the strongest knot. Or if you have a lot of patience. Yeah. Which I don't have. If I need to tie a leader, I want to. I need to get back fishing. Yeah. Right. It takes like five seconds to tie every other knot. That's it. That's perfectly strong. Yeah. With a good braid. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, J braid. I like that stuff. Samurai. Samurai is deal. the best. Yeah. So. Cigar is really good. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. It's I've been I've been using that all season. Smackdown? Smackdown. Got it. It's really yeah. loud though. It's loud. It's loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's pretty expensive. It's not yeah. that much cheaper than Samurai. Mm -hmm. And it's not Samurai. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. The only advantage to that SmackDown is that it's got high viz. So yeah. if you need that high viz, it's good. But you know, I keep going back and forth on the high viz, and now I don't think I need it. Like, I was all into the high-vis for a long time. Yeah. But now that I've gone to, like, grays and dark green, other dude. dark green, like, I can still see that shit. Right. I got old-ass eyes with glasses. Yeah. I can still see. It's laying right there. We're really solidified it for me for J-Braid. Like, we've been on and off on it, you know, and right. trying other things and stuff like that. But, dude, I was in the wind the other day. Like, 20-mile-an-hour gusts right into my face, and I literally went like this with a quarter-ounce drop shot weight yep. into the wind. And, it like, it that runs. braid just fucking went, like, through it. And like, and I made an actual cast, and I'm like, holy shit! Any right. other braid, dude, it would have went yeah. behind me. Yeah, it's just so limp and soft. The only thing about J braid in the wind is that I get knots like crazy. Yeah, but that new Sunline Defire braid, 
That's what I was going to ask. It's supposed to solve all that. It's supposed to be amazing. Yeah. But as fast as we get in, we sell it out. So yeah, I haven't no, had a chance we, to even use it yet. It looks amazing. Um, I think it's funny that all the Sunline Pro staffers are in line to get it when yeah. we get it back in because <laughs> yeah. they can't even get it. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to um, get that line? Yeah. You're like, bro, I need some of that line. Okay. Uh, but supposedly that solves it with that core. Yeah. Right? So it eliminates those wind knots. So it'd be interesting to try it and see if that's something that comes out in braids now. Yeah. That, you know, like spinning braid is pretty much, I would like, everybody yeah. uses it now. I mean, right? if you don't, you're wrong. Ooh. Ooh. So you're saying there's a right and a wrong? A hundred percent. Oh. hundred hmm. percent. Yes. Wow. He's good at percentages. <laughs> We've That's established that. All right. of it. So all of it. 100% is everything. Do you have straight floor carbon on any of your spinning reels? No. Right. But so there is a what if it works for you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, then you're just wrong and it works for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, I mean, like absolutes. I did it for years. Right, and we all did. I got brain uh, and I'm like, wow, I'm an idiot. Like, why didn't I? So if you just learn how to tie a knot. That's it. You just need to, like, that's that's the biggest thing, I think. If yeah. you truly believe that it's better than braid fluorocarbon, I'd love to know. But I think that's what holds people back is the knot They think that there's a weakness, mm. right, in yeah. the knot. Like, Being oh, there's another connection up yeah. there. Mm -hmm. But if you tie the right knot, that's it. It you never sweat. break at the knot. Yeah. Like, if you break, you break at the hook or something else. Now... The exception is if you tie a uni to uni, yeah. which I tie a lot because my hands have some arthritis and when I'm freezing cold, yeah. I have to go back to that uni to uni because of the Alberta with the white line. Yeah. But the uni to uni, if you snag on the bottom, you're going to break it at the knot. Right. It's plenty strong for a fish, but if you're trying to pull it up off the bottom, it'll break at the knot. Yeah, it on the... Yeah, but I know that right. going in. Like, it's not an FG knot yeah. or an Alberto. You know what I mean? Yeah. But really, there's not... I don't know what an advantage would be to going straight fluoro. Dude, because you're going to have more coils, that's it. more hassle, like you change your line all the fucking time. Yeah, it sucks to manage. Like you can fish it efficiently for like half a day yeah. or a day and then it's junk. Yeah. Do you do braid uh, leader? Yes, on spinning? Yeah. Well, I do it on most of my stuff. Yeah. So you do braid to leader on casting too. Yeah. Oh, really? So you prefer yeah. braid? As general use line over fluoro or mono or something like that? Uh, it's because I throw a lot of top water on almost everything I throw, every combo I have. So I always, instead of having to switch my line out, I just keep the braid on there. That makes sense. You yeah. do throw a lot more top water than most people would throw. Yeah. 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 Do you ever throw braid to fluoro mm, on casting? Like when I'm saltwater fishing, yeah. Okay. And it's like pretty much like you guys said. It's like when you tie a good knot, that you never break at the knot. Right. You just, just either you break off at the knot to the bait, or your braid gets cut somewhere. Yeah. But like it's once you tight, get right? it down, you don't even think about the knot anymore. You don't. Like dude. never, dude. You like, never do. I'm always thinking about like my floor cover getting frayed or something. Right. I like forget that I even tied the knot. Yeah. And most days, like a floor carbon later on a spinning round lasts you all fucking day. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It's well, like, especially if you have good gear. Yeah. It's all a system, right? Mm. Right. So if you've got a good spinning reel, yeah. the drag's going to be amazing. Right. If you have a good spinning rod, it's going to absorb, like, everything's absorbing yeah. and doing what it's... You don't have to go like what, this. Right. <laughs> so you don't have to look like an idiot with your <laughs> Abu Garcia pulling line <laughs> off of it right? right yeah, to get the drag to spin around. Spinning right. reel. <laughs> um, no offense. Sorry. No uh, offense. <laughs> but... So you live in the swim bait world. Yeah. And we see it all the time with swim bait guys that come in here and they think that like braid is a great option for swim baits because you think like super strong line, yeah. expensive fucking bait. Yeah, you don't want to lose it. Right? Right. I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to put it on braid. Yeah. But why is that wrong? Well, so braid has a funny way on just randomly just stopping. Like you'll make cast a cast 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 and then every once in a while it just and there's like no backlash it just dug in on itself and it's like oh whatever yeah. but if you're doing that with some of these baits sometimes that impact of just the bait going and it just stops abruptly just 
breaks the the knot or whatever it is in the braid and your bait's going flying if you're using mono fluorocarbon it's got a little bit of stretch so when it happens it gives a little instead of just straight snapping i mean obviously you will still snap on fluorocarbon mono and copoly but i don't think it's as much as braid braid it can be cool if you do it like a grip does it you know braid to a fluorocarbon leader it, it works just fine but a lot of guys just go with either just straight fluorocarbon or you know copoly which is just fine but never like straight braid you know it's just not good yeah just digs in just too much too it's much. so heavy it is heavy the bait on the end of the of the rod and and yeah. the momentum dude, yeah because you're just you and it just randomly stops i think yeah. gone. there's no even way. if it's 80 pound braid yeah no it's you can gone, break bro. that with a lot of impact which you're chucking a six, six ounce eight ounce bait, bait. that's a lot of that's gone, a lot of force yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's just not super recommended obviously there's still guys that do it though yeah other than punching and a frog are you throwing braid on any of your casting gear swim jig that's it hmm okay yeah. just one like there's literally this jungle of shit <laughs> and there's a little pocket of water back there and I right want my swim jig in it that's it so other than that it's straight floor or Floral straight mono or, or whatever it is yeah so i do like every once in a while depending on the situation straight mono but i have been liking like a 40 pound braid to you know a defier you know leader like on my shower blows i've liked that lately okay yeah i definitely so, think you get more bites with that mono leader but i like when you kind of turn your torso a little bit and instead of swinging on them like right you know with big trebles dude you just want to load into them that braid keeps them stuck but that mono allows them to eat well, i think the know. braid on top water is important for some of the lakes that we fish a lot like need yeah. pleasant you know places where you're throwing it as far as you can throw it mm -hmm. where you need that braid to not have stretch yeah to where it's walking and it may have eaten it way the fuck out there at the end of your cast yeah and you need to turn and have it hit right right whereas if you had mono you just get so much stretch it's you're hundreds of feet anything, yeah. yeah there's nothing to really push that yeah. hook in when there, he right? blows up on it i literally just go one two and then turn fucking He's yeah. got They're it. on yeah. it. Done. So why don't you like braid on other, like your normal casting stuff? Like why aren't you going braid to leader on a jig and a crankbait and a spinnerbait? It's just and that noisy, kind of stuff? dude. It's noisy. And then again, you're like, I like a long, like on a spinning rod, I don't mind reeling in the knot. But when you get into bigger braids and, you know, 15, 16, 17 pound fluorocarbon, it's big. That knot's fucking huge, dude. Yeah. So if you're casting that thing all day long, you're bound to break that thing at some point. I just don't like that. And then we talk about it all the time in here with braid. When you're winding braid, it's humming through the water. I don't like that. It's so noisy. It's disgusting, yeah. dude. No yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Straight it's funny. Forward. Everybody's different take. Yeah. Right. And and so, I don't think there's a right or wrong. You think there's <laughs> right and wrong. Yeah. You think it's gray, right? <laughs> yeah. But I think it's whatever works for you. Because there's a lot of people that love like everything's braid yeah yeah right and yeah. then they just do leaders to different stuff and dude if it is working for you then dude line i think is one of the probably the most personal pieces of fishing 100%. Yeah. because yeah. you build a confidence okay. right yeah. and you like okay i have history with this i know how to use it i know how much pressure i can put where my breaking point is like yeah. you learn like it's you're pretty intimate with line 100%. right yeah. you have to be so i always feel weird telling people to change mm. on line yeah like Oh, dude, no! You need to do this because yeah, it's just, it if they're used way, to yeah. it, like I don't want to, I don't want to pull them out of their comfort zone, yeah. right? But I think the biggest eye-opening thing I ever had was when the A rig was out, yeah. And the, the first, you know, that Bassmaster, I don't know, was it an elite Paul or maybe Elias. a top one fifty or I don't know, whatever. The one that Paul I just walked yeah. everybody, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was watching it, I called Brent. I'm like, dude, you need to bring me some of those A rigs back. Yeah. You know, I'm going to jack them over here at Pleasant. Yeah. And I remember he brought me some back and we jacked them. Yeah. And we jacked them again. We jacked them. And all of a sudden, like, we jacked them less and less and less and less. And then they stopped mm -hmm. eating. Hmm. Right. And then, like, I kind of gave up on it. Yeah. And then I remember talking to Brent. He's like, you still jack them on the A rig? I'm like, no, dude, they stopped eating it. He goes, what are, you, what are you line are you throwing? I'm like, yeah, 65, 80 pound braid. He goes, oh no, dude, they won't eat it on braid. You got to throw it on fluorocarbon. Yeah. I'm like, what? I'm like, how does that make any difference? Because yeah. all this wire and hooks and it looks like coat yeah. hangers yeah right like if they see the braid that doesn't make any sense he goes no dude they hear the braid and it's like the first time like hmm. that i really thought about that making noise yeah. 
But now, I mean, you can see it in here. Like we even put it in a tank. And yeah. You pull it through the water and it's just like yeah. you can feel it. And it's a vibration. It's a sound. Mm. So like I'm completely convinced. Once I made the switch, I started jacking them again. Yeah. I'm completely convinced if it's a bait that's moving, like on a steady retrieve. Yeah. They you get more bites on a round line versus a braid. Hundred percent. But that's me. Yeah. Like, there's probably people. It, but again, I'm not fishing a lot of grass. Yeah. You're fishing a pressured lake. Pressured lake, clear water, rock wood. Yep. Like maybe if I was fishing a less pressured with a lot of grass where I needed braid to pull out of vegetation yeah. or something like that, it might yeah. be different, yeah. right? But yeah, I. I, I just think it's funny. Everybody has their different ways of doing it. Yeah. And when you hear people say like, oh no, I just do braid to leader. And we're like straightforward coming guys like, yeah. Oh, dude, you Wrong. Right. And you know that they're thinking the same thing about us too. Absolutely. Like, what do you mean you don't do that? You throw straightforward coming? You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Look right? at you stupid ass to spend all this money on flora. We're right. definitely aiming for that. 80%. I'm going for the top 20%. Mr. Percentage. Percentage. He's going to be in percentages forever. Yes. Yeah. I ruined yeah. him. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, thank you for uh, thank you for sitting in. Sure, thank man. you for joining. Uh, thank you guys for Thanks. listening. Happy Hanging Sunday out. to you guys. It's great to come uh, and get to hang out on a Sunday. So, as always, if you guys have any questions on anything, uh, any of the amazing new one product uh, that we dropped this week on what's new and d we did get a bunch of other things in here and restocks of stuff so yeah. uh, play around on the website right yeah. there's there's tons of stuff plus it's the last week to really enjoy the amazing website <laughs> and we know based on the comments that we get each week how much you guys love it so I'm miss the old website thanks for just getting me a hundred phone orders on monday <laughs> oh you're welcome julius <laughs> you are welcome so yeah make sure that you dive in and enjoy while you can before the new website that actually works comes Take out that'll be so boring you know? <laughs> yeah it'll be so dull remember it <laughs> yeah remember this time yeah, yeah. Um, but seriously, on behalf of myself, my family, and uh, all these weirdos sitting around me, and the one guy that refuses to even crack his beer, uh, thank you guys. Happy Sunday. Thank Happy you for Sunday. the business. Thank you for the support. Any questions, drop them down below. Jeff will leave uh, all the links to the one item uh, in the description. <laughs> you can't can miss you, it. Can you handle that? I don't know if I'll be able to. I think you can handle it. <laughs> I'll miss so, it. So, yeah, until... Next week, new website, new drop. Hallelujah. We should have a party next week. A party? Yeah. Wow. It's going to be a party. Hookers like this. Okay. JDM hookers. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Guys. Customs is going to Cheers. For <laughs> Boom. We derailed fast. <laughs> and that's the wrap. Boy. Sorry, kids. Oh, if you guys like this style that we did, this conversation, we might do uh, an actual podcast, right? We should do a podcast. Further down the line. So if you guys want to see that there's let us know so much the good information in it's there. fantastic or if we're boring as hell leave a comment down below let us know you need approval multi-pack daddy issues Rock yeah yeah <laughs> <Percentage> bye <laughs> <Percentage>. <laughs> all right peace out guys <laughs>